What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. It helps out the algorithm. With that, Let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, Element showed the new green version of the Element Ecto at their Dead Man's Crawl that happened over the last weekend. This is the th second or third time they've had that event. It's kind of their annual event that happens on the, the birthday of Element. They've been around for three years now. The new color, a nice green. I actually really dig this color. Definitely a better green choice than the other green vehicle that was released recently. The Ecto body has grown on me over the last almost a year or so that it's been released. I think it looks pretty good and I think this new green color is a great color choice. So if you're interested in that, I believe right now it's listed at like $10 more expensive than the previous yellow version, but underneath exact same vehicle. So if the color is worth 10 bucks to you, Maybe it's time to order an Ecto. Next, Scale Garage Systems is releasing a new version of their very custom handmade beds. This one is for the four-door Toyota body. This is a limited edition release though. These are not going to be widespread or you know infinitely available. Only a certain number will be made and will be available. So if you're interested in these, they're truly beautiful pieces. Or you can go check out Scale Garage Systems website and see the beds that they make for all of the other body options. Linked in the description below. Last last Friday, RC Fuel Drive released their newest version of their TF2, this time coming with the new FJ55 body on it. I wasn't familiar with what an FJ55 was. Maybe I've seen one of them in the past and I just mentally blocked it out. If you happen to be a fan of what I'm told is nicknamed an iron pig, then Arsfield Drive did what looks like a good job replicating it. It, it looks pretty close to it. Uh, it's a Lexan body as opposed to Arsfield Drive often doing hard bodies. So if you're looking for a hard body, this isn't the one for you. But Inside, you will find that it has an interior tray and it's got a lot of molded bits that go on around the body. Uh, but it sits, like I said, on the TF2 platform, the same platform completely unchanged that you've seen before. 155 wheels come on it and some tires that they have released previously as well. But if you would like to buy the body kit separately, it is available already as well. You don't have to buy the full TF2, which is the long wheelbase version, I should note, which is a 12.3 inch wheelbase. But if you want to get just the body set, also available at the outset, $120 for the body set, Lexan body with the interior tray and the molded parts. The product photography that they used to launch this was maybe a little even more unflattering of this truck than even could have been, which is tough. You couldn't even really see that it had an interior and the fact that this truck doesn't have wheel wells was kind of accentuated. You could almost see right through it in the photos. So I think that distracted from it even a little bit more. Fans of the FJ55, wherever you may be, I think this is your chance for a Lexan body. I can't imagine that there's going to be too many other competitors in the market for this one. If you're in the market for the VS410 Phoenix Portal, right now there's a promotion going on where you can get your choice of aluminum Vanquish wheels with your order. Currently, you can go on the website, choose the Phoenix, select which wheels in which color you would like, when you submit your order and your wheels will ship with the kit. And note that this is a limited time promotion. This week, Gen Zace released their newest version of their iMars charger. This is a dual version of it with a nice color screen. It's again, dual channel, 500 watt, 15 amps of output. You don't have to use all of that all of the time. The programmability on the Gen Zace chargers, very handy. I like these chargers and their pricing is really good. If you've been shopping for a new charger or thinking about upgrading your current one, this one's worth checking out and comparing against the other options currently available. I'll link to where you can find details on this in the description below. This week, I'd like to thank Ridge Wallet again for sponsoring the Scale News Update. I've been carrying a Ridge Wallet for a number of years now and been happy to work with them to sponsor the Scale News Update. Recently, I picked up the Forged Ember version of their Ridge Wallet, which has got the forged carbon design with the kind of glowing ember design. Definitely one of my favorite styles. I also picked up their key case, which has the same forged ember design. You can get either of these in a ton of different styles. I've got a burnt 
burnt titanium, some regular style carbon fiber, basic aluminum, tons of options, super slim front pocket style wallet, fit a number of cards in there. It also has a money clip on the back to hold your cash, or you can get the elastic band style to just use as a cash strap. Again, I've been enjoying my Ridge wallet for years. If you're looking for a gift for someone for Father's Day, this is a good one. Highly recommend it. I have a code Harley10, which will actually save you 15% for their Father's Day promotion. And I put a link in the description below. Again, thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring the Scale News Update. Last week, we talked about the tease of the Primal RC Grave Digger that was going to be released at the Monster Jam event, and they did show it off. It's exactly like you would imagine. The huge gas-powered monster truck. When you see photos of it sitting on its own, you lose perspective of how truly huge this thing is until you see a photo of someone like standing behind it. These are being offered in two different ways currently on their website. It's pre-order and they have like a standard version and a collector's version. The collector version is limited to how many are being offered and does come with some extra things compared to the standard version. You can go check out the website for all of the details to what's being offered and I'll link to that in the description below. Proline pulled a fast one last week. They teased and then immediately released a new 2015 Chevy Silverado pre-runner body made for the trail truck size that we all have. Wide fender flares, aggressive styling, not normally something you picture with solid axle trucks like a lot of us have, but the solid axle trucks can absolutely be quite a bit of fun in the pre-runner-esque type form. Maybe it's a good time to revamp or repurpose a older truck that you don't use quite as much throw a bunch of power to it and turn it into a pre-runner. Another new release that hit the Proline website was the Proline 2.2 Ibex, which is a comp style pin tire. And this is being released in the G8 compound. Previously, this was only available in the Predator compound. So they're just kind of filling out that line by offering this in one of the other popular compounds that they offer. And lastly from Proline, the official release of those class one trenchers, both Predator and G8 available now. And you can already pre-order all of these new Proline items on the Horizon website. So if you wanna get on the list early for any of those new releases, check out the links in the description below. A Couple of weeks back, I showed a tease from Drive RC that had the title roll out to it. And I didn't know that that was a common or a slogan or just catchphrase from Transformers. And I thought that it kind of looked that way and obviously it was. Now they're showing the rollout rig body with the very, reminiscent transformer style. So if you have a monster truck and you want half the function of a transformer, you're on your way. Pick it up. Drive RC is a little bit funny. They don't have a website. You gotta like go on their Facebook page and cash app them with a description. Little funky. Definitely not the cleanest buying experience, but I'll link to their Facebook page. You can go read the instructions to buy yourself and if it's worth it to you. Pick one up. The Tamiya XV02, which is the chassis kit of the Rally car, their newest release, kind of an updated version of the very popular XV01, as you would imagine. They announced this quite a while ago. They've shown details as time has gone on, but now finally hitting there. Rally guys, obviously excited. Not all that often that Tamiya rolls out a new platform. So it's a big day. I'm not sure how supply of these will go. I don't really know how big the rally market is in the US is it's not something I follow all that closely, but they do build some cool cars. I've seen some really awesome videos of the tracks they build, which always makes me think that it would be fun to have one as well. If there's any of you RC rally lovers in here, let me know. The Axial Adventure crew traveled up to Rob's Resort last week and did some live broadcasts and showed photos of the location where Axial Fest West will be hosted. The coverage of what's up there was pretty much limited to the camping facilities and kind of what is in the actual resort area itself at this point. We didn't get to see much of like the terrain or where the trails, courses, whatever you wanna call them, will be. So still don't know 100% about what is going to be at the event. Again, I know that the terrain near the event site can be epic. I just don't know what's at where we're going to be. Regardless of any of it, I'm looking forward to going because I enjoy hanging out with RC friends, but definitely still looking forward to more information coming out. If I see any noteworthy news related to the event, I'll make sure an update here. Last week, Matt from Scale Builders Good and myself posted our 24 hour mayhem where we took the new Axial Base Camp and did 
as much as we possibly could in 24 hours to make them our own version of the custom truck that it has hidden underneath of those painted windows. We both had a great time, turned them into very different looking vehicles. If you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. I'll link both mine and Matt's below. They're long videos. Mine was like 45 minutes, Matt's was 55 minutes. So you got a couple of hours of entertainment if it's something that interests you. And if it does, this week on Livestream Takeover, we'll be having Rich from Horizon on to come discuss the new base camp. He was involved in that project, so we'll grill him with all of our hard hitting questions, I'm sure. But that's gonna do it for this week's news topics for this week's question segment. Last week, we talked about YouTube channels and people who should start one who don't currently have one. One of my favorite was the guess of who I was trying to find and it was like the Keebler elves and I was trying to find the perfect cookie recipe or something <laughs> made me giggle. But there are some other really good comments in there as well. Some that I just completely never even thought of, but would absolutely make great channels and some that I knew were coming. Absolutely. For this week's question though, I want to know what is your most recent pointless or ridiculous purchase? RC or not? Something that when you tell your friends or significant others, whatever, this is what I bought. They just shake their head. I bring it up, of course, because of my most recent one that got that exact response, my new mini trike frame. My love of three wheel vehicles is not limited to RC. This one's like third scale ish. This chassis is from the garage vlog. I've got a lot of other parts to order and organize. I've got a long lead time before it actually arrives, but looking forward to a slightly different style of build. I still have to come up with a style or theme for how I'm gonna finish it though. So if you have suggestions there as well, let me know. But with that, as always, I appreciate you guys watching the Scale News update every Tuesday. Click the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell so you see the Scale News updates as soon as they get uploaded. And as always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.